Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. stunned when a young mother of two is killed in an accident at work. Now they have questions about what went wrong inside the Sterling Heights plant. 25-year-old Deja Kelly was killed when the forklift she was driving fell on top of her. Kelly's family says she took the job at Matulsa between 17 and 18 mile near Van Dyke just to make money before she went back to nursing school. Megan Woods talked with Kelly's family and Megan, they really want to celebrate her life. That's right. I spoke to Deja's aunt who says that Deja was loud and funny, always willing to help someone and loved making TikToks like this one. This was made on Saturday and her aunt says she can't help but to smile and laugh thinking about the memories they made. <laughs> so I just, I'm going to miss that bubbly personality and just, she was just a life of the party. Siobhan Starn says the last time she saw her niece, Deja Kelly, was during a family get-together over the weekend where Deja made sure everyone got up to dance. Then everyone was leaving and she grabbed my arm and she's like, uh-uh, where are you going? You need to come and do a video, just me and you. And I'm like, all right, so we did one last video together. After, Deja held her tight, a moment her auntie Siobhan will forever cherish. I'm like, I'm going to see you Friday. Why are you hugging me like you're just we have my life out of me. And she's like, I just love you so much. And then the next morning, she texted me and she said, I just miss you so much. And I was like, I miss you too, man. Then Monday, Deja was killed in a tragic accident at work. The forklift she was driving somehow turned on its side and fell on her. My sister lost her daughter. I lost my niece. My mom lost her granddaughter. And a six-month-old baby girl and four-year-old boy lost their mother. Deja had big dreams, and her auntie Siobhan was helping her go back to nursing school. And just to not be able to follow through with those plans and just to be doing this, planning something different, is just heartbreaking. They do have questions surrounding Deja's death, but right now they really want to focus on laying her to rest and celebrating her life. Now, the state will cover some of the funeral costs, but the rest is up to the family. So they have a GoFundMe to raise that money, but also to help support Deja's children. We'll put that on clickondetroit.com. Back to you. Yeah, absolutely heartbreaking. Okay. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.